Okay, the Red Stare. I saw this come in today and I cannot wait to try it. Oh. Wow. Instructions. Receive fax, insert paper, send fax. Okay. Interesting. This is really pretty. Pick your assignment. Fax it with the red button. Uh, mission, mission, quit. Pick your assignment. I guess I'll pick the red one. Okay. Send or send. <laughs> one, two, three. Ah. Okay. Cool. Suspend mission. Okay. Oh, here we are. <laughs> How cool. All right. Oh, telephone. Where? Oh, hello. Good morning, agent. Hope you've settled in all right. Sorry about the mess, but your predecessor left in a bit of a hurry and we couldn't leave this post unmanned. Now then, you're being thrown right into the middle of an operation. Take a good look outside, specifically the building across the street. See the woman on the top floor? Her name's Norma. Norma's got a briefcase she'll be handing over to us, so you're gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna fax over the details on the situation. The fax machine should be on your desk. Press the left button to receive incoming messages. I'll be in touch. All right, so Norma's up there. I wanna keep an eye on her. He's gonna fax me instructions. Well, I mean, I just got started, but I gotta tell you, this is really cool. <laughs> This is really cool. Rear window come to life. Okay, so is there anything I can do? I can have a smoke maybe? <laughs> Need a lighter. Ah, press blue to receive, okay. Put down my cigarette. The briefcase. Suspect Norma, known communist sympathizer, willing to give us until in order to receive immunity. Oh, okay, he's already told me all this, okay. Hello. It's me again. Yep. Got the facts, right? Make sure you keep that stuff organized. You can pin the papers to the blackboard if you want. Now, the gist of it is, Norma spills the beans and the commies in the building. We give her immunity in return. Or at least, we'll think about it. Norma hasn't been a very good patriot lately. What you'll be doing is creating a record of Norma dropping off the briefcase we want, just in case something goes wrong. Give it a test. Norma should be in the parking lot with the briefcase right about now, so take a picture of her. The camera should be on the desk next to the fax machine. To use it, press the red button or the button near your thumb. Once you've got a good picture, send it over using the right button on the fax. All right, take a picture, send it with the fax. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cool, pick that up, save it. All right, it's not a bad picture, right? Hello again, I got your picture. Looks like you've got the hang of it. So here's the plan. Norma's gonna dead drop the briefcase in the parking lot. We'll be picking it up 10 minutes later so we don't raise any suspicion. You'll be monitoring proceedings. Keep your eyes locked tight on that briefcase. If anything out of the ordinary happens, I want you and your camera to be all over it. All right, if anything unusual happens, I need to take pictures. What else have we got here? Got a badge, special agent. Hello? It's me. I've got another agent nearby. Oh. According to them, someone's heading into the parking lot and they're not with us. Keep an eye out. Make sure they're not getting near that briefcase. Oh, shit. That guy took the briefcase. Whoa, holy cow. Norma is dead. Holy crap. This just got real. <laughs> this just got real. What the hell just happened? Wait, <laughs> take pictures and fax me everything. Damn it. And the other one, I forgot to fax the other picture too. Oh crap, where'd it go? Good job getting a clear picture of the crime scene. Crap. Damn. It doesn't look like we'll be getting any more information out of Norma. Is that a job? Okay. Anyway, we'll go over the picture and see what we can figure out. 
Right. I think we got what we need. Damn. What a disaster. Well, welcome to the team at any rate. Kick back for now. I'll let you know when we've got your next assignment. I wonder if I screwed it up or if that's just how it's gonna go. I can make notes. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Get to like, I'm a real spy now. This is so cool. So Norma, Norma fell. Now Norma dead. All right. <laughs> Hello again, agent. Hello. After a fiasco from the other day, I've got some good news. One of our agents has successfully infiltrated a building and is posing as a communist. Of course, you need to know who it is too. Take a look at the case file on your desk. Your predecessor put it together with all the info she gathered on the building's inhabitants. But recent events have made it a little... outdated. Compare the notes to the people you can see now, figure out who doesn't belong, and you've got our undercover agent. Consider this a bit of a test for you. Once you've figured out who it is, snap a picture of them and send it over to me. I'll send you the assignment by fax as well. Good luck. So he said there's a case file on the desk, but I don't really see a case file. I don't think. Hmm. Use the suspect info folder on the desk. Oh, wait, maybe I did see it. There we go. Use this, open it up. Okay, this contains basic information on suspects organized by apartment they inhabit. Pull down the drawing on the blackboard for more information. Oh shit, oh, this is so cool. That's one out of seven. How do I uh, flip through these pages? One out of seven. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one out of seven. How do I cycle through this, uh, the pages here? Okay, okay, cool. Apartment one, Felicia and Elise share apartment. Both mostly wear green. Yeah, okay. Turn. Apartment 2 is shared by Bernard and Curtis. Bernard generally wears red. Curtis wears a denim jacket. Okay. Darwin and Ike live in apartment 3. Darwin is fond of blue suits. There's a lot of names here. Arnold and Norma occupy apartment 4. Norma's dead, both usually wearing working clothes. Grace likes to wear red. Larry wears gray shirts, tend to be loud. <laughs> Haley and Jeanette like and often wear blue, although Jeanette is generally me, dark blue. Okay, so that'll help me line up the names. Oops. Okay. So that's cool. You could, um, can I draw on that? No. Okay. Cool. Ah. I want to bring this back up, if I may. There we go. So this old crime, I don't know if I need that anymore. I mean, obviously Norma is of no concern now. Do you have more information for me yet? Or is this the same as before? Yeah, this is the same, so. Okay. Our agent will be wearing red clothing. Our agent is wearing red. So, what am I looking for now? What is suspicious behavior? One of our agents infiltrated the building. Okay, I wanna send them a picture. Agents wearing red. Okay, the agent is not in here. Okay. And apartment six. No, don't grab that. Apartment six, five. Apartment four. Give me apartment five. Grace likes to wear red. Larry wears gray shirts. Just to be loud. 
six. Okay, blue, blue. Who else is wearing red? Apartment two, apartment three. Okay, they wear red. Apartment three. Darwin and Ike live in apartment three. Darwin is one of the six. Red brown jackets. Okay. Hmm. Apartment two and three should wear red. I haven't quite figured out how to turn these pages perfectly. Apartment one, mostly green. Got it. Apartment two is shared by Bernard and Curtis. Bernard wears red. Curtis wears a denim jacket. Yeah. Apartment three, blue suits, red, brown jackets. Arnold and Norma. Hmm. Grace likes to wear red. Larry wears gray shirts. What if I uh, guess and get it wrong? Do I get punished? Take a picture of her. Grace. Oh, it gives me the name. Shoot, I should just be snapping everyone here. This is very helpful. Carla. Yeah, I should just take a picture of everyone here. Jeanette, well that's not useful. <laughs> a good spy throws away pictures in the, out the window. Carla. I don't remember seeing the name Carla. I'm going to try that and see what happens. No. <laughs> I matched the other button. What do you think about that? Well, how'd I do? Nice job. Looks like you found our inside woman, Carla. She's right. already given us a lot of intel in a short amount of time she's been in there. This evening, Carla will be meeting with a couple of Reds. I'll give you the details later. Oh, before I go, make sure you keep a record of every clue you collect on each of our suspects. We define them as good patriots, commie sympathizers, informants, and of course the spy. If you do the same, it should give you a good overview of the case. Take a rest for now. If you feel like time's going by a little too slowly, take a good close look at the clock. It's a good way to kill time. Interesting. You can speed things up by looking at the clock. Oh yeah, look at it go. <laughs> Bring your head close and time just whizzes by. Wow, this game is so cool. I wonder how many cases there are. I only got to case zero and then one. I wonder how many cases there are total. And then you finally find, uh, finally know who the commies are. Maybe they killed Norma. So what's my next case, huh? Maybe I should fast forward time. Shoo! Okay, great. Hello, Adrian. <laughs> Remember that meeting Carla's organizing? Yeah. It's happening in the alleyway next to the building. Yeah. Apparently, it's a popular spot for the Reds. They meet there frequently and make sure to keep anyone who isn't involved out of there. Keep a close look. I'll send over the relevant intel Carla's been able to collect by fax. You keep your eyes glued to that alley and get me pictures of all the people Carla's meeting with. Pictures of all the people. Okay, this is a group photo, but it only says Elise. wonder if I need to, uh... Okay, Elise, Grace. Cool. Grace. Already got that. Any more names I can get? Oh, it highlights them so I can tell who I'm actually... Oh, cool. So, who am I missing? Carla. Okay, we have Carla. That's four. Okay, so you have four of them. That's four. 
meeting in the alleyway. Okay, so I'll start faxing these. They already know about Carla, so no need to do that, I suppose. Two. I guess it couldn't hurt to fax Carla's picture. Great job, Agent. Be thorough. You've captured all those red mugs oh. nicely. Excellent. I'll check in with the higher ups to see how they want us to proceed. For now, it's a job well done. So kick right. back. Talk to you soon. Cool. I did it. This is so great. This is so cool. Let's fast forward time. Hello. Fast forward time. No. <laughs> okay. I'm unable to fast forward time for now. Wow. Such a rich environment too, like you feel like there's a city out there. This is this is so cool. I can't believe this game is free. I can't believe it. Well, I'm gonna leave it there for now. Uh, you gotta pick this up. You have to pick up this game. This is so fun. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Catch you later. Bye.